Good evening everyone, this is Master Coach A coming in live from DCAP Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches. I'd like to welcome you all to Kapiha Night. This is our Coaching Tuesday and tonight on floor, we've got live guests on floor joining me, both coaches and non-coaches. Magandang gabi po. Thank you for joining me tonight. I love to be back. Thank you for all the people who prayed, who, the people who sent us great messages, good messages, well wishes. Uh, we just came back from a 12 days mission trip in Tacloban City. We'd like to really say Congratulations to Batch 27 of the Live Coach Training Institute Certification Program in Tacloban City. We have 13 students and 12 of them successfully graduated. And congratulations, Batch 27 from Region A. Okay, Doc Shan, okay, was not able to join day two because of some important um, matters to attend to. But we are praying that he will be able to join the, our next batch. Cebu City. Okay, we will be in Cebu City uh, August 10 and 11. And that's going to be a scheduled back to back with Master Coach Lakendra Smiley. So if you're within Region 7, you're within the Visayas area and you want to get certified, you feel this is the right time for you to get certified, then I'm inviting you over to join us at Maayo Hotel this coming August 10 and 11. So that's going to be like a Saturday and Sunday. So hope you see us there. Hope to meet you. And here in Manila, if you're within NCR, our next schedule is also with Master Coach Nakenda Smiley. It's going to be August 16 and 17. Tama ba? August 16 and 17, that's going to be like a Friday and a Saturday. Okay. If you are one person who's naturally gifted, okay, with the heart to help, okay, gusto mong tumulong, sinin titong gusto mong tumulong sa mga tao? You have a heart to help. Okay, and you want to make a difference in people's lives. Okay, and your outmost, outmost dream, desire, vision in life is to live a legacy and be significant in other people's lives. I believe all of us wants that. I believe everyone of us has a spot in the heart that we want to help. We want to make a difference. We want to live a legacy that we are important, that we are significant. And then life coaching is for you. Why? Because life coaching is one platform that you can really make a difference, that you can really help people, that you can really, really, really help people be transformed. It doesn't really matter if you're satisfied in life. It doesn't really matter if you're struggling with life. It doesn't really matter if you are problematic or no problem at all. Life coaching will help you to level up in life. Okay, life coaching can help you take actions on things that you are so afraid to take actions on. Or maybe you're taking actions but you're not getting the results that you want, then life coaching can help you. Or maybe, all right, you're taking actions, you're getting results, but you think at this moment in time, you have, you need to go through transition so you finally live the life that you want, then life coaching can help you. And finally, maybe you're at the right place, at the right time, at the perfect conditions right now, but you find in yourself, there's one more thing that you need to do to live a life of bliss. Then you're looking for transformation and life coaching is for you. So we invite you, take a look at our profession, whether you need the life coaching service or you need life coaching certification and start joining the tribe of 195 coaches in the Philippines, myself included. So we have certified already 194 coaches in a span of less than two years. Uh, myself included, we have a strong tribe of 195 coaches here in the Philippines who are ready to help you. So I look forward meeting you very, very soon. Again, good evening, great. Gracia and Jen, thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight, we're going to be talking about if the shoe fits, wear it, what if not. I'm not sure if you've heard about that uh, idiomatic expression, but what it says is that what if there are opportunities bigger than you? What are there opportunities that does not fit what you are capable of doing right now? What if your aspiration, your dreams, your visions, okay, the things that you want to do in life is so big, so grandeur, and you feel so little? Do you have it? Do you have it? I believe every one of us can connect. There is one thing in our life that's so big, bigger than who we are today. Our capacity, our capability. I'm not talking about you belittling yourself. I'm talking about the truth that there are things in our lives today that we want to achieve and it's still bigger than us. The shoe does not fit. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. If this is the first time you're joining me, you've never met me before, if you're watching the replay and you're asking who's that woman, well, I'm Coach A again. I'm a certified life coach. I'm the global partner for international expansion of the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. Our master coach and founder, Kendra Smiley, will be back in Manila um, next week. She's landing here in August 8th, and she will be here for about two weeks. So if you are interested to know more about what we do, then come over at Decap Coffee Republic, the home of 
certified life coaches here in the Philippines. I do professional coaching and I focus on people who needs mental empowerment. Okay, I empower people to be mentally fit so you can live a life that you love, enjoy life, live fully, and be the person whom God called you to become. So for tonight, I want to share with you things okay, that you want to achieve things that are there right now but you feel you are not yet that person capable of achieving it okay let me ask you okay how many times you've seen an opportunity and you said that's not for me but you like the opportunities how many of you okay how many times you've seen an opportunity and you like it and you say i'm not capable uh-huh Okay, how many of you have encountered great things in life and you say, oh, not me, it's for other people. Oh but you want it, <laughs> but you want it. Or some of you would have the expression, no matter what I do, I won't have it. Okay, now, how many of you grew up, okay, grew up and had an experience that a pa your parents brought home something like a clothes, a shoes, and it's big, and you cannot wear it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You remember the time, okay? And the parents come home and they're so excited with a bag, with a, okay, with a plastic, okay? And some of you us could remember, oh my God, that's the brand I want. And you're so excited. You open the box, you open the package, that's the shoes that you want, and you fit it. Uh huh, mom. Mother, <laughs> not my size. Mother. Who among you experience that? Come on, come on. Most of the time it happens with the shoes, right? Okay. Most of the time it's big. Come on. Come on. I'll tell you why. Come on. Who among you have that experience? The shoes is big. Okay? Or we will buy shoes and our parents really want it big. Bigger than our size. Come on. Can you remember that? Okay, come on. And now you're smiling at me. Okay? I hope, I think you, you know what I'm getting at. Okay? So you remember a day you want the shoes. You need the shoes. Okay? And yeah, you got the shoes. Maybe you're there and your parents, your mother wants you to get a size bigger than yours. Okay, can you remember why? Para my adjustment. Kasi lalaki naman yung paa mo. Ano ba? Okay, ano ba? Diba? Because you'll outgrow it. Lalaki, sayang. And how you feel? Para mas matagal, magamit. Oh, Ito pi yung medras. Oh, kala nyo ha? Oo, oh, oh, meron din akong ngayon, huwag kayong mag-alala. Kasi bilis-bilis lumaki ng paa mo. Okay, so pardon me with all our international viewers. I just have to speak my audience in Tagalog. This is beautiful to us. But we're talking about a big shoes, okay? A big footwear and you wear it and your fit does not fit the size. It is bigger than your size. And our parents would tell us, okay, flip the top of your socks or you put a calso. You know that? You remember that? Yeah. Calso, di ba? Calso tawag dun eh. You put some... You put something inside the shoe. You put inside the shoe so it filled the gap. Come on, we call it calso. <laughs> oh, you tell me kung anong tawag. You put tissue. You put a... a <laughs> kayo naman. We feel, you feel the gap. Alright? And how does it feel walking with the shoes bigger than your feet? If you're like size 7 and your shoes is size 9, how does it feel? Come on. Not too for the ball. Okay, how does it feel? Okay, picture this out. Who amongst you run? Runners. Runners. Oh, tumatakbo. Marunong tumakbo. Hindi pa ginabo ng aso. Talaga tumatakbo. Okay. You just imagine. Okay, you're in a marathon, a sprint. Okay? Your shoes is bigger than your size. On your march. On your mark, gunshot, you start running, boom! What would happen to your shoes? <laughs> you're getting this. I think you're getting to my point. My point is, growing up, we already have experiences where in the things that we receive in, in our life does not fit. Doesn't fit. Alright? 
But the giver would always have an idea and an attention why they're giving us something that does not fit. Do we appreciate it? We don't. Truth of the matter, oh yeah, we appreciate it because it was given to us. But truth of the matter, we want something that fits, right? Come on now. Be honest. This is your life. And we've grown up. And to all our parents, thank you for giving us a shoes that's bigger than our size. <laughs> I had that moment because my, my size would always grow. So normally, my parents will buy something for me that would last the whole year. So within the first part of the school year, you walk in an awkward way. <laughs> come on now, come on now. Yeah. And then sabihin nila, bakit parang piki ka maglakad? <laughs> And then they tell you, ayusin mo kasi yung paglalakad. Paano ka ayos? Loading. Loading. Coach Perry, hello. I miss you, sister. Okay. Coach Perry is one of our graduates from Batch 27. Did a great job. Coach Perry, thank you for joining us. Okay, Coach Ellen. Okay, sending, our, sending my love. Okay, Tita Fe, hello. I love you. I miss you, Tita. Coach Glacy is also there. So refreshing to hear you're so far but so near, Coach. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Okay, the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, you wear it. What if not? What if it can't? What it will want? Okay, now. If you're wearing a shoe bigger than you, meaning your dreams are so big that your skills, your talent, your ability at this moment in time, what would you do? What would you do? How many of you have greater dreams than what you are capable today? I have a lot. Something you want to achieve is greater than when you look at your inventory of skill sets and assets. Inventory of resources. You say, I have little than the dreams I want. How many of you have that? I have that. I have a lot of that. Okay. So we have a bigger shoes. And our fit, our size does not fit that shoes now. What do you do with a shoes? Come on now. What would you do with the shoes? Replace the shoes? What would you do with the shoes? Think about it. Your dreams, our dreams, our aspirations in life, our ambitions, our goals are always bigger. Always bigger than the way we look at our abilities, than the way we look at our talents, than the way we look at what we can do. You know why I know it is? Because if it fits, then you don't call it a vision, then you don't call it a goal, you don't call it a dreams. You will immediately do it. Because it fits, right? Yeah. The very reason it's a goal, the very reason it's an aspiration, a dreams, a vision, however you want to call it in your terminology, what I'm saying is there are things in your life that you are not doing right now, you are not achieving right now, you are not taking actions right now because you see yourself less inadequate, not ready for that. Am I connecting? Am I connecting? Okay, my question now, it's bigger. The shoes is big. What do we do? Growing up, growing up, we were told, wear the shoes. We were raised by our parents, wear the shoes, do something, remedjohan, right? Wear a socks that's thicker, right? Fold it, okay? Put some stuff, fill it in, all right? What else? Walk with it, even if it's awkward. Walk with it, with, even if it's uncomfortable. Walk with it, even if may kalyo ka na. Pumuputok, you call it kalyo, right? Okay, you have blisters. Okay, you experience all the discomfort, and our parents was teaching, they taught us where with it. Will you do the same? Now that you're grown up, will you do the same? What would you do with the big goals, like a big shoes that does not fit who you are right now? Smaller sizes, smaller skills, smaller abilities, smaller talents. What would you do with the shoes? Definitely, you won't cut the fit. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And definitely by your age now, you cannot grow your feet. Yeah. Correct? Okay, so what would you do with the shoes? Let's talk about the shoes. What would you do with the shoes first? Before we talk about the feet, let me talk about the shoes first. What would you do with the shoes? Pastor, what would you do with the shoes? Literally, if it's a physical shoe, I would sell it. 
Oh, see? I will sell the shoes, sell the dreams. Because the dream is so big. Let me sell it. <laughs> Nagpanik si Kwaso. <laughs> Why would you sell the shoes? Why would you sell the shoes? So you will not wait for the for the feet to grow in size. You will sell the shoes. I, I like it. It's okay, Pastor. You will sell the shoes, right? Okay. We have a different idea. Coach Umay, what would you do with the shoes? I'll keep it. I'll keep it as a motivation for me to... Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll let the feet grow. Yeah. You'll keep the shoes. You're not gonna sell the shoes and make a money out of the shoes and buy a new shoes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Point, but mine is different. Like I would give it as a motivation, mm -hmm. and maybe I could buy a shoe that fits. fits. Yeah. Good. Anyone else? Come on now. No right or wrong answer. I just want you to. I just want to see what would you do with the shoes. Come on. Go oh, shit. What would you do with the shoes? Okay, good. Okay, that's a perspective. Okay, so we have here somebody who says, Okay, if the shoe is bigger, then I'll sell it, get another shoe for myself. Another person tells us, Okay, um, I'll wait until it fits me. Or the other person will say, I'll just give it away because it's a given to me. Anyone else? Anyone else? Coach Ed, you want to try? Husband, you want to try? Okay, think about it. The first question is, what is the shoes? What is the shoes that we're talking about? Do you need the shoes? Is the shoes given to you? Is it the shoes that you buy some, you bought the shoes? What is the shoes? Many times, we throw on the towel on things. Many times we change. Many times we sell. Many times we dis just forget it. Or sometimes we just continue to hug, embrace, and fight for something. But the question is, do you understand what are you fighting for? Are you very clear with your dreams? Are you very clear with your visions? Are you very clear with your goals? Are the goals yours? Or was just given to you? Are your ambitions yours? Or it was forced upon you? Are your aspirations authentically yours? Or you just want it because other people have it? Before you make a disposition about the shoes, or the dreams, the goals, the question is, is it yours? What does it represent in your life? How bad you need it? How bad you need it? Like, if you're running for a marathon, sprint, you're going for a competition, you want the rubber shoes badly to win. And you fit it in. And you know it's not fitting. Why would you wear it? Because it's not serving your purpose now, right? What if, okay, what if the shoes was given to you? It's like you receive it as a vision. You receive it from God. You receive it from a higher divine being. And you know that at a certain point in time, you'll grow in strength. You'll grow in your skills. You'll grow in your talents. And you'll fit in that goal. Go back. Go back. What is that goal? What is that aspiration? What is that dreams? What is it that you want in life? That's the first question. What is it really that you want to achieve? What results do you want? Many people want to take actions. For what? 
What action are you taking? Because many times when you, you believe that when you take actions, you're getting results. Of course not. You can only get results when you know that you're taking action for something, towards something, for an achievement of one thing. But you can do all the actions you want. You can keep your busy yourself all you want, but you're not going to get the results if you don't understand what results are you getting. Are you getting me? Yeah. Many people are busy, busy, busy as a bee, but you're busy for what? For what? Let's talk about that shoes. Let's talk about that thing that you hold in your hands. What is that really to you? Is it yours? Or maybe it's just like a Cinderella shoes, a Cinderella glass slippers, and you see it's like, wow, beautiful, let me try it on. But that's not yours, you know, it's not yours. But you wanna try your luck, and you just fit it in. And because it fits in, then you believe you are the princess. What if nagkataon lang talaga, nagkasha, but it's not yours? And you're not happy about it. Come on now. We go through life every day. We take actions. We don't get results. We get results from the actions we take. We're not happy with the results. We go through transitions. We're still not finding the right place. What is it that you need in your life? Do you really understand what shoes do you need? Do you really understand what is it that you need at this point in time? You're talking about what to do with the shoes, but do you really need the shoes? What is the shoes for? What if the shoes is just for memorabilia, just for a souvenir? And you keep looking at how do I get the shoes to fit in? And what if the shoes is just for souvenir? Make sense? Before you work on your disposition, I want you to really look into what is that shoes now? What shoes do you have right now? What shoes are you looking at this moment in time? Before you say it's big, before you say it's small, before you even say it fits. Because it could be bigger and God is allowing you to grow in strength, in skills, in knowledge and eventually you fit in, right? What if it's really small? You can't cut your feet, but you continue to hold it. But there's nothing you can do with that because it does not fit. It's smaller, but you say, oh, it's comfortable. I used to have that size, but it doesn't fit your purpose anymore and you're keeping it. Or maybe it fits, but you know that it's not comfortable to you because that's not the certain, like, if you want to run a marathon and you need the rubber shoes, will you run with it with the heels in you? Mm -hmm. Will you run using a leather shoes? You want to win a marathon and what you have is a leather shoes. Will you keep the leather shoes, looking at the leather shoes and say, okay, maybe I should not run and just walk. But you want to run. Are you getting this? It is not what you do yet. The first step is understanding what is the shoes. What is the purpose of the shoes? What shoes are we talking about? What is that shoes that you want to put a desk position on? Because many times in life, we just look at it. Does it fit? Does it not fit? And how many times we get the same size of a shoes and it does not feel really comfortable? Na? Not really comfortable. Pero pipilitin mo pa rin. Mahal kasi yung brand. Sayang kasi. And how many times you've got a beautiful shoes, fits you, but you still get a blisters on? Because you're just trying it for the, new, for the first time. Most of the time, you, you get a leather one, get a blister on it. Yes? Okay, so... What shoes do you have today? How many shoes do you have? And how many of it fits your life? Mm. And what do you do with the fit? I talk about the shoes. What about the fit? What about you as an individual? What about you? What do you do with your talents? What do you do with your skills? What do you do with the fit right now? 
if you have reached already adulthood, there's nothing you can do to grow your feet. Am I correct? There's nothing you can do to change your feet. Right? But there's a lot of things for you to do to take care of your feet. And when you take care of your feet, it will naturally blossom. And how it blossom will naturally fit to which it is called upon. Many times we want new talents, we want new skills, we want new strength, but, but you have it. You just have to take care of it. You are born with it. I'm born with it. The talents you have, the skills you have, you were born with it. We were gifted with it. It was given to us. We don't even have to cry out and, God, give me this. No, 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 no. God has already given to us. But the question, have you nurtured it? Are you nurturing it? Or you want something that is not yours? Can you swatch, can you switch fit with the person next to you? Can you try it on? Or your, your fit is beautiful, can we switch? You can't. It's funny, we can't, right? Can you? Can you switch fit? Foot? Kahit isa lang, foot lang. Kaya? Subukan mo, palit muna tayo. Parang maganda kasi sa patos mo eh. You can, right? No. See? Same thing. We are born with this. You know, that's what, where I appreciate my father when he said, you're not a singer, don't force yourself to sing. I believe that. Yeah, there, there are coaches, singing coaches who, yeah, Chris, hi Chris. Chris told me that as long as you have a voice and you want to sing, you can sing. Yeah, I believe that. But I think my father is right when you say, like, strengthen what your God has already given to you. I mean, why waste your time? I'm okay if you have so much time to waste. But what happens to your talent? What happens to your skill? What's happened to the very natural things that God had already given to you? Are you taking care of it? Are you monetizing it? Are you nurturing it? Are you making use of it? Are you making sense of it? Or are you continuously looking at the greener pastures that other people are really, really enjoying right now? You can't enjoy your pasture if you continue to look, lurk around and look at the other people's pasture. Yeah? You can attend to your own garden if you continue to say, oh, I wish I have that garden. You'll have that garden if only you are willing to tend to your own garden. It's not about the shoes. It's not about the fit. That really changes the ball game. You know what changes the ball game? Your mindset. It's your mindset. How do you see the things in your life today? How do you appreciate it? How are you grumbling about the difficulties and the challenges and the discomfort? What is your mindset over the things that you have? Are you complaining with the overflow of things? Do you see it as burden? Do you see it as an overflow of problems? Or do you see it as an overflow of opportunities? You know what? Challenges and difficulties are opportunities in workloads. Yeah. Tend to it. I'm teaching creative problem solving. And opportunity is always a problem to many people. Try it. Try it. When you get promoted, when you get new job, when you get new business, those are opportunities. And you feel burden. You feel the problem, you feel the stress, and many of us will just throw the towel. I forget it, it's difficult, yeah. Hey, it's your mindset. You are where you are today with the right purpose. You are there where you are today because you are called to be there. And the more you struggle, the more you find things difficult. Sometimes our mind cannot fathom. Sometimes it does not fit our little minds, right? Because our mind needs a little growing. A little tending. Maybe you have a lot of clutters and chatters in your mind. Maybe there's a lot of weeds in your mind and you need some tending in there. Maybe you just need some recalibrations of your mindsets. It can be done. And while waiting for that, while waiting for the stretching of the mind, while wait, waiting for the stretching and the growth of the mindset, the change of your mindset and everything, Look into your heart. Do you have hearts? You have a heart? Yes. What happened to your heart? Come on now. Puso. Do you understand how powerful the heart is? Yes. You can be brain dead and you're still alive, but your heart stopped, you're dead. You hear me? 
The moment your heartbeat stops, you forget it, you're done. Brain dead, you can revive, be revived. Heart dead, you're dead. You'll be cold, blooded dead. So check your heart. What happens to your heart? Because your body, your physical movement, the things that you see right now is a direct manifestation of what's inside your heart and what's inside your mind. Come on now. Mindsets. You can change. You can nurture and all. But the question is, your heart. Your heart. What's inside your heart right now? Are you still fighting? Are you still inspired? Are you still motivated? Do you still see goodness in things? Or have you grown cold with the difficulties in life? What's the posture of your heart? The posture of your heart and the mindset that you have will define the quality of life you live. Whether you have the right shoes that fits or you don't have the right shoes that you can just replace and do this position in, it doesn't really matter. Because if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't have the right posture of the heart, everything in your life will not bear fruits. With the right mindset, with the right posture of the heart, you can do anything under the sun about the shoes. Because you are the person who's capable of creating, you are the person who's create, you are capable of changing, you are capable of transforming, you are capable of transformation, only if you have the heart and the mind that's suitable for great things in life. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. Join me again on Thursday. Bye-bye.